Yo, what's going on guys? My name's Cast. Welcome back to another episode of Blue Lock. Today I'm on episode 5. So we left off last episode in the match between Team Y and Team Z. We're currently tied up 1-1. One one. We had Nico identified as the Team Y mastermind. We also had Gin get an awesome goal. Thank you a little bit to Asagi for getting a sort of pass into assist shot. Gin was awesome. Uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing more of him. But yeah, pretty much all we have left to do is finish up this match. And I imagine Team Z is going to win, but... Who knows, like I said last episode, anything could happen, but I'm expecting Team Z to win it. I would be very surprised if they didn't. If you would like to watch any of my content early, it is over on Patreon. I'm currently watching Haikyuu, I just started Cyberpunk Edgerunners, and I'm also doing Chainsaw Man. All of that is over there. The Soul tier will get you one week early access, and the Ascended tier will get you multiple weeks early. Be sure to go check that out. Those reactions are clear and extended length, meaning that you get more reaction and more discussion to go along with each and every video of mine. You can also go follow me over my socials, such as my Twitter, my Instagram, and my Twitch. The links, of course, are in the description. All right, let's check out episode five. All right, back into it. <laughs> The hentai protagonist Nico. I don't believe that you have eyes, Nico. I need to see him first. <laughs> yeah, but they're drawing some parallels immediately with them, which is pretty cool. They both have that premonition. I'm excited to see what these other players can do. Is that really a skill? <laughs> Running past him? Yeah, he's gonna mark him and then he won't be able to utilize himself very well. Oh no. They're gonna dialogue mid-match. Right. These two are blessed with their intuition. Your brain. There you go. Super useful. That means he's controlling the game without actually touching it. They're probably waiting for the last minute because they have one idea left that'll let them score. Yeah, exactly. Some sort of last resort move. One of the problems with having such a dominant player is everyone focuses on them too much. Alright, they're all rushing. I feel like they're definitely off sides right now. <laughs> I can't quite tell, but it looks like it. The ball has to be up front. Come on, Isagi. Go demon time. Get in there. Come on, Chigiri. Ah, this is such a hard spot for a goalie. Isagi's gonna get in front. Oh, that's so devastating. I love the way they visualize this stuff, man. It looks so cool. Nope. There it is. The speed. The quickness. There you go, Isagi. Right. So, you'll be on the same wavelength. You can get ahead of him. Clear it. Hey, there he is. There's the eyes. Damn. All right. Who's going to get it? Somebody's going to get it. You're going to take it all yourself. The ego. All 
All right, let's do it. Foul him if you have to. That is a strat. He's got that dribbling. All right. Ankles broke. <laughs> Ugh. I don't think that was to you, though. Yeah, yeah. All right, Isagi. Yes, that looks like the opening shot. Boom, baby! Oh my god, that was awesome. God, the power. This show is so cool from an artistic style. It is so sick. I love how it visualizes everything. They make it just look so epic. Okay. So like I, th I said last episode, I expected them to win. But that was badass. That was just so cool. Is he having like an epiphany moment? Like he's like believing in himself or can't believe he did it maybe? <laughs> oh god. It's getting edgy. It's getting so edgy I can feel it. He's like, I love it. I love stepping on people's dreams. <laughs> Looking down on them. Damn. <laughs> yeah. Ego loves it. All right, all right, all right. Episode five, To Be Reborn. It's a late title card. And it's a little bit edgy, I'm not gonna lie, but like, it's cool enough that I don't mind really. I, I you know, hey, I like a little bit of edginess here and there. The show knows what it wants to say and it's going for it, so I can't really fault it. I mean, even though it is displaying it in a little bit of an edgy way, I feel like there is just a slight modicum of truth to it all. I mean, part of the whole winning and losing thing is making somebody else lose if you're going to win. I feel like some of the satisfaction comes with being the better player, with being the winner. At the end of the day, the other person loses, and it is a little bit hard, especially whenever you're really into it, not to revel in that just a little bit. Like, you may not want the worst for the other team, but in that moment, yeah, I can kind of get what he's saying. I kind of get that satisfaction. I, I understand why he says it feels good. So they're all safe now, I think. Kuan definitely seems like the leader type. He smelled it. It's that instinct, you know? I think it's so interesting that Kira called it so early and that was his high soccer IQ. It just shows that Kira really was competent. Right. I guess that's one way to put it. What's with Shigiri? There's definitely a story going on here. I feel like maybe the reason that they didn't want to reveal their technique or their whatever their talent was was because they're afraid it was going to be used against them later. That was kind of my running theory with it. They're not really thinking teamwork wise just yet. Yeah. <laughs> I get. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if you're focusing in the right spot about the whole making them lose thing, but find your confidence for sure. Are we going to get our finally like a proper introduction here? Yeah, I think he peaks whenever he plays off instinct. Chigiri's smart. Yeah, I think he's 
ボールを持って動いてる時なんかは視野がもっと狭くなる。Sure. でもお前は more more focused to dribble. フィールド全体を把握してるみたいにどでかい視野でプレーする瞬間がある。いやいや。空からの神の視点みたいな。その能力がゴールの。It's very similar to how I view things too sometimes. I always say like from a top down point of view. できないゴールを生んだんだと思う。空間認識能力。<laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't worry about naming it. He's not going to tell him still, probably. I don't think they've given us anything to actually guess on either. Either he's insecure about it, might be the other thing. Ooh. Damn. It's pretty bad. Yeah, ACL is no joke. I see. I see. To find a reason to give up on my dream. Huh. That's a very different perspective than most people here. I think he's confused, but he's right. I mean, he's here to fight. He can make whatever excuse he wants, but that's probably not the case. Yeah, I want to know what his thoughts on it is. まあ見てろ。そろそろスパイスの時間だ。ああ、オッケー。そんな I don't think it's a conscious thing. Chiyuri kind of implied that it needed to be. But, I mean, if it's working, I don't think you need to. Team W is next. Your player rankings are being adjusted based on your achievements. So, Isagi's probably going to go up quite a bit. Considering he scored. Chigiri's down there. Isagi? Nice. Good, earned. Then Kunigami, then Gin. Igaguri still at the bottom though. Deserved. I'm not quite sure what the individual rankings matter within the team as much, you know? I mean, there are, of course, individual things like the food you get to eat and some certain other things, but being the top of your team, I'm not sure exactly what that earns you. I feel like he's overthinking this. Okay, sure. Okay, I rock with that line of thinking. Just always be ready for whenever the instinct comes. 
he sort of indirectly became a leader. Okay. This is cool. You lead by example and people will follow. It's kind of going back to the whole borrow thing about basically being the striking player that's... He shows up and because of that he becomes the leader. It's really similar. He proved his worth and now people are following. And the ego is, is stoked. I just wonder how long it's gonna be until they get ahead of themselves, you know? And the ego ends up burning them. Alright, nice little callback to the first episode's end. Alright, another great episode. Alright guys, that does it for episode 5 of Blue Lock. Up next we have the match against Team W. I'm really looking forward to it. Make sure you leave a like on the video, and I'll see you guys next week. Later.